Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down the biggest game of the weekend. It's a game in the SEC with national championship implications. It's the Georgia Bulldogs laying 10 points at the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, before we break down and predict this game, let me let you know what's going on at Paramount Sports. Well, we hit our big 40-unit Sunday play in the NFL, the over in the Seattle-Washington game, now 6-2 and two on the season on plays between 35 and 50 units. You want to hop on board for the rest of the month through the 30th? How about this? Our executive phone service, where we rate the games from 10 to 50 units, just $157. Looks like we'll have another huge 40 to 50 unit play this weekend. So hop on board and, and follow that money train. Now, back to this game on Saturday, where George is laying 10 points at Rocky Top. Now, Georgia won the last three games against Tennessee by 13, 24, and 23 points. And even the 13-point win was not even close last year. Georgia dominated the game physically, and Tennessee really was never in the game. I think they scored one of their touchdowns late, maybe with four or five minutes to go in the game. Otherwise, it would have been a 20 or larger point margin. Georgia pounded. Old Miss ran for 300 rushing yards last week. And you, you got to be able to be, you know, stout up front to play with Georgia. Missouri pounded Tennessee and ran for 255 yards. So you got to think Georgia is going to be able to run in this game, even though it's on the road. Joe Milton got his hands full. Tennessee quarterback. He can throw the ball 80, 85 yards. That's great. But you never know where it's going to go. And Georgia's pass defense, allowing just 5.6 yards per attempt. And they figure, hey, uh, we'll run the ball. <laughs> they only allow 3.7 yards per rush attempt. So their defense has really come on last couple weeks. So is their quarterback, Carson Beck, thrown for over 300 yards in five of the last seven games. This is his third road start. He's really feeling comfortable now. Tennessee could not compete with the two ranked opponents so far this year, Alabama and Missouri. Why are they going to be able to compete against the number one team in the country? Sometimes you got to lay it if you want to play it. Georgia, 37-20 over Tennessee. You want to hop on board and make good money? Not good money, great money. Just one place, ParamountSports.com.